Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in my previous video, I have set up this logout button. Now let's handle this profile. I want to display the profile of the currently logged in user. All right. So I simply go to my VS Code and just close these. We just have to go to our user, create here a new file that is called profile.js. So profile.js R A C F E to create my basic markup. And let's bring in here the fragment first of all. And I'll also bring in here the link from React Router DOM. And also I bring in the use selector. So import the use selector from the React Redux. And this is use selector. And also let's bring in our metadata. So import metadata from the dot dot slash layout slash metadata. And let's let's simply pull out our user from the state that we want to display on uh, profile basically. So const have to pull out the user the loading from the use selector state dot off okay so now let's type here the fragment and we check that we check that if it is loading and we simply have to display the loader that I'm going to bring in a minute else we have to display the user right so I type here another fragment Okay, and here first of all I type the metadata and the title is the uh, my profile or your profile whatever you want to call it and it's also bring in our loader Okay, so if we go to my notepad and you can see this is profile.html. So I simply copy from here, right? Not the last div, this one, so control C. So we go back to my VS Code and just put in here our HTML. So we save it. Okay. First of all, let's replace all the class names. So, class with the class name, and then I simply have first of all display the image of the user. So, image and the SRC, I simply provide here the user dot avatar dot URL, and the alt, I will simply display the name of the user. So user dot name and for the same as the type here user dot name okay and here I have to say email so user dot email and then I have to full name now let's also copy this one and also display the date of joining because okay, so when you have created this account so that is joined joined on and so type here user dot created at created at so this is the time so I simply wrap first of all this in a string because I have to use the function on it so dot substring and I want to get string from 0 to 10 only the date. Okay. And then I will also have display here. Instead of A, I type here link. And for the href, I type here 2. So this is for the edit, edit profile. So that will be slash 
me slash update I will define all these routes later and for here this is also going to be link to and this is also going to be link oops. and this is also to so that will go to slash password slash update and this orders will go to slash um orders slash me and i don't want to display my orders to the admins because admins are not here to purchase something so i simply type here that user dot role uh, is not equal to admin then i have to okay so i don't want to display the orders uh, to the admin all right simply save it and if i go to my app.js so i simply import here import the profile from dot slash component slash user slash profile and then here slash me i think so yes and then here i put the profile and this is going to be exact path simply save it and now if i simply go to my chrome click on profile and here we go you can see that we are on our profile so this is the image name email and date of journey and you can see that this user is admin so it doesn't get here the option if i log out log in with john account so that is one two three four five six and now if i go to here in the profile you will see here my orders option all right so now one thing that i want to show you if i log out from here and i if i go to slash me uh, you can see that we get here error cannot read property url of undefined because slash me is a protected route we know that only logged in user can access this route for example if user is not logged in so how he can access its profile so definitely the user must be logged in to access these these types of routes so in my next video i want to protect this route on the front end right we know that this is already authenticated on the back end but we also have to authenticate on the front end okay so i will protect my routes in my next video